UK second wave. Would you like to actually understand what's going on? Well, what's happening is exactly what we predicted. So from Joel Smalley here, excellent data, we see that prior years there's excess mortality every winter. 18 was tough. And we had SARS-CoV-2 surged in April, seasonally triggered, and there was a lot of excess mortality, and it was tough. But look at November, December 2020. We're seeing a seasonal resurgence of the dominant virus, and excess mortality is as per prior years. That's the reality. So how can this be? Well, I'm going to show you the data you're seeing generally, and it's showing deaths. United Kingdom, they look as bad for SARS as the first wave. So these are deaths with positive PCR within 28 days of the death. This is not real data, but we'll take the trend line to show you in a moment how it matches up. Here's ONS data. Now this is real data, it's excess mortality that Joel uses, or anyone with a brain would use. Where's the second wave gone? Yeah, we had a bad hit in April, but where's the second wave? Well, these are real deaths, overexpected. Let's take a green trend line. Now we'll put it together. Here's what everyone's being terrorized with. Their deaths with a positive PCR within 28 days. Right, and you do see what appears like a second wave like the first. Here's what's actually happening in excess mortality from the ONS. Real deaths, overexpected. And let's add in Euromomo, the master database. And you can see April, genuine epidemic. No second wave here of note. Winter resurgence of the dominant virus. So we'll put that in here. And you'll see it matches up with ONS. So it's not a second wave. It's a winter resurgence of the virus. And it is the dominant virus, SARS-CoV-2. It's knocked out flu and everything else. Um, but it's exactly pretty much what we predicted. And anyone who tells you otherwise, right, is lying. <laughs>